Kivalina is the name of an Inupiat community located on the northwest corner of Alaska. This community, close to the Arctic Circle, has a population of 400, and 97 percent of them are Inupians from three major families. They hunt for whales for a living. However, these people who used to rely on the ocean for their livelihood are now considering the ocean as a potential threat. The Kivalina community covers a long and narrow territory of only 10 square kilometers. Local Inupias are worried because their land is shrinking over the years. This, this probably is about it, it is a huge problem right now with, with, um, with some of the families. The families are, are experiencing pressures that they should not be experiencing. It started about 10 years ago. Every fall, when the storm season comes, this scene repeats. Many people are woken up by the sound of waves smashing the shore. Residents don't understand why the ocean strikes the shore in October, while in the past it was frozen in this time of the year. The natural ice embankments are now all gone. In the, last year in October, the waves were coming from right there all the way to the other side. They're like 20 feet high, and uh, they're just coming straight through. The waves were coming over, it created a, like a creek where it was going into the main road over here, and another site further down to the point where we had to uh, set up three pumps. When the waves splash, it's dangerous, and sometimes you can even see houses hanging above the sea like this. The pole that you see leaning against the other utility pole is one of the two utility poles that got washed out during the first storm. It was like, when I looked at my watch, it was like 2.30 in the morning, and we were temporarily out of power the whole community. The community only started have electricity in 1970, and now the electricity posts have all fallen over. The community is left without water, land, and power in the middle of the ocean. The October storms are only the beginning. Bigger ones are coming in November. We we were we used to be able to stand about over here, parallel. With, with that bank up there. That bank was parallel to about this high. Even Oren Knox, a hunter, known for his rich experience and bravery, is overwhelmed when he describes the storms that come one after another. We, re we really need some help in our village stretcher. The federal and state governments responded to calls for help and have piled sandbags to create a temporary levy. However, it doesn't seem to be much help. Now, before fall storm season comes, the government is sending tractors to build a sturdier levee using a different material. The community can enjoy a short moment of calm. But waves are still there, and no one's sure what will happen in Givalina when fall arrives. TITV Weekly.